So amid an, at times, bit of an unclear economic environment, how would you describe the general sentiment among investors? Would you say some are perhaps more skittish than usual? What's your diagnosis of where we are right now? Well, JD, we're a retail brokerage, so of course we try to keep our finger on the pulse of individual investors. And, you know, what we're all kind of feeling right now is, you know, general general ease about our financial situations, about the job market. I mean, we see it in surveys that we run. But at the same time, we feel skittish about what's happening around us, which makes a lot of sense. I mean, the world is changing very quickly. Interest rates are quite high. And, you know, some parts of the economy don't feel great. And so to that point, according to a recent retail investor survey data that you and your colleagues at eToro put together, and there are also, there are always amazing data points, uh, over half of respondents are confident about their financial situations. Do you expect that to last? Yeah, so this is the wild thing about that. We ask you know, retail investors on if they're, uh, about if they're confident about a bunch of different topics, their financial situations, the economy, the global economy, uh, the housing market. And what we've found over and over again is that more than half of retail investors feel good about their own financial situations and their own employment, but they've but less than half of them feel good about the economy around them. So this isn't much of a surprise to me. It's part of the reason why we saw the vibe session last year where confidence dropped, but the labor market remained strong. So I think we're just seeing a continuation of that. And I actually think with inflation coming down, if it stays down, then we could see confidence continue to improve.